Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design the shear reinforcement for a concrete beam. So this is the problem. So they are saying design the shear reinforcement for the beam shown in figure. Assuming it resists an ultimate shear force at distance D from the face of the support of 450 kN. The characteristic material strengths are given Fck and Fyk and you can see beam cross section here. Uh, here it's marked D as 500 mm and width as 300 mm and they are saying uh, they are provided for H25 bars which is it's equal to T25 bars diameter of 25 mm and you can see they are marked uh, shear force at D as 450 kN and this is the VED we have to recognize our VED value so our VED value is 450 kN uh, shear force at distance D from the support so that is VED first we have to find as provided which is provided still area this value will need for future calculations so as provided equals provided number of bars times area of a bar according to this diagram there are four bars provided therefore number of bars is four bars and area of a bar is area of a t25 steel bar so as provided equals four times area of a bar area of a bar equals 5d squared over 4 for this d is the diameter our bar diameter is 25 therefore i substituted 25 as capital d so when i simplify it i will have a is provided equals 1964 square millimeters this is the a is provided next we have to find shear resistance of concrete vrdc for that we have two equations top one and bottom one first we have to find vrdc top value then we have to find this bottom value and you can see they say with minimum of this is the minimum of value minimum value so we have to check this value this top value should not be less than this bottom value right because this is the minimum value so we will see how we calculate this vrdc so this is the equation so i will show you uh, what are these parameters and uh, how we find these parameters so first crdc crdc can be found using this relationship so it says crdc equals 0.18 over gamma c gamma c is equals 1.5 so you can see this relationship in this clause you can go to your code and search for this clause 6.2.2 and you will find uh, this value next k k is equals 1 plus square root of 200 over d so this d is the effective depth so you have to substitute it units of millimeters so this is the close rho 1 is equals to asl over bwd asl is the provided steel area that's why i found asl or provided steel area before so i can use that value for this ASL so BW is the breadth of the section and D is the effective depth so ASL should be substituted units of millimeters sorry square millimeters and BW and D units of millimeters so FCK is given in our problem and K1 is equals to 0.15 it's given in this clause Sigma CP equals 0 for non pre stressed members B, W and D have same meaning I explained before so those are the parameters now I can substitute values and get answers so this is CRDC it equals 0.18 over gamma C gamma C equals 1.5 when I simplify it I will have CRDC equals 0.12 K equals 1 plus square root of 200 over D D is the effective depth it's given in our problem D equals 500 millimeters so when I substitute and simplify it I will have K equals 1.63 and it should be less than or equal to 2 so 1.63 is less than 2 therefore no problem I can use K as 1.63 next row 1 row 1 equals ASL over BWD 
ASL is a powered steel area we calculated before and BW and D are given in our problem so I will substitute those values and I will simplify it then I will have row 1 equals 0 0.013 and it should be less than 0 0.02 so 0 0.013 is less than 0 0.02 therefore no problem I can use row 1 as 0 0.013 Next, K1 equals uh, 0.15, it can be obtained from the code. So next, I will substitute these values to this equation, so you can see here. And when I simplify this equation, I will have VRDC equals 93.63 kN. Next, I will find minimum value, which is this equation, VRD equals V minimum plus K1 gamma CP BWD. So K1, Gamma CP, BW and D have same meaning I explained before. So here new parameter is V minimum. V minimum is equals to 0 0.035 K to the power 302 HCK to the power 1 over 2. So K also previous meaning. So K equals 1 plus 200 over D uh, square root. And as I calculated before, K equals 1.63. So now I can substitute this k value and fck value for this equation and when I simplify it I will have v minimum equals 0.36. Now I can substitute this v minimum value for this equation 6.3 n and also I will substitute bw and d value here that is uh, no point of substituting k1 because sigma cp is equals 0 uh, when I substitute it this whole part becomes zero therefore uh, no point of substituting k1 finally i will have vrdc equals a minimum times vwd so here equation so i can substitute values for v minimum as 0.36 and for bw 300 for d 500 so when i substitute and simplify it i will have vrdc minimum this is the minimum value vrdc minimum equals 54 kN. So our VRDC initial value is 93.63. Therefore, uh, it is greater than minimum value. So I can decide my VRDC value is 93.63 kN. And this VRDC value should be greater than VED. So our VED value is 450. So you can see the ED is greater than uh, this VRDC. Therefore, Shear reinforcement is necessary. Next, I have to check compression capacity, compression strut. So, this is the equation you can see VRD max equals alpha CW, BWZ, V1, FCD over cot theta plus tan theta. So, using this course, you can find this equation in the Euro code. So, we will see what are these parameters and how to find these parameters. So, alpha CW is equals 1. For non pre stress members, BW is the breadth of the section, and we have to substitute it units of millimeters. And Z equals 0.9 D, D is the effective depth, and D should be substituted units of millimeters. P1 equals 0.6 times 1 minus FCK over 250, so FCK should be substituted units of megapascal. FCD equals 0.567 times FCK and here also FCK should be substituted units of megapascal. So theta is the assumed value. We have to assume theta equals 21.8 degrees. So for uniform distributed loads, this value is okay. We can assume this value as theta. So next I will substitute those values alpha CW is equals 1 and BW is the breadth of the section it's given in the problem as 300 millimeters and Z equals 0.9 times D D is the effective depth and it's 500 millimeters and V1 equals 0.6 times 1 minus FCK over 250 FCK is 25 it's given in our problem and when I substitute it and simplify it I will have V1 equals 0.54 and FCD equals 0.567 FCK so I will substitute 25 for this FCK value so next I will uh, substitute these values for 
my main equation which is this equation vrd max so when i substitute it i will have this equation and when i simplify it i will have 356.3 10 to the power 3 newton so which is kilonewton so vrd max equals 356.3 kilonewton and it's less than ved so since vrd max less than ved uh, we have to recalculate our this angle theta angle for that i will do substitute vrd max equals ved and then find theta so this is the equation so i substituted vd for vrd max so next i will solve this equation for theta before that i will do simple trigonometric calculation so you can see cot theta plus tan theta here so here simple calculation then it becomes cot theta plus tan theta equals 2 over sin 2 theta if go through this this is not the structural design this is simple trigonometric so i can substitute 2 over sin 2 theta for cot theta plus tan theta so you can see i substitute it here so then i will have vd equals alpha theta w vw set v1 fcd sin 2 theta over 2 then i can solve this equation for theta so when i solve it i will have theta equals 1 over 2 sin inverse 1 2 vd over alpha cw vw set v1 fcd so now i can substitute these all values uh, vd as 450 kN. so so i will put 10 to the power 3 that's for converting this kilo into newton and these all parameters we already know when i substitute these values and simplify it i will have theta equals 30.3 degrees so it should be greater than our previous assumed value 21.8 and it should be less than 45 degrees so this angle is within our range therefore we can write hence okay then we can find diameter and displacement of links so provide shear reinforcement according to uh, this relationship so you can find this equation in your report so it says vrds equals vd equals aswos said fywd cot theta so here i will solve this equation for asw over s so asw over s equals vd over set fywd cot theta now we know all these parameters and uh, vd equals 450 times 10 to the power 3 and set equals 0 0.90 which means 0 0.9 times 500 and fywd equals 0 0.87 times fyk fyk is 500 megapascals and theta is the new theta we found a little while ago uh, this value so i can substitute theta as 3.3 uh, degrees so when i simplify it i will have asw over s equals 1.34 in this moment i have to assume links bar to be used as links so I assume I use diameter of 12 millimeter bars for our calculation links. So now I can find ASW. ASW equals area of one bar, one link bar times two. So bar diameter is 12. Therefore, I can find area for one bar using this equation 5 d squared over 4 d is the diameter of a bar. Uh, d is 12 millimeters because we use t12 bars then i can simplify this and get answer for sw as sw equals 226.2 so since we know sw and since we know sw over s as well we can find spacing which is simple s so s equals 226.2 over 1.34 226.2 is the ASW value and 1.34 is the ASW over S value we found it before and when I simplify it I will have S equals 167 and this is the critical value therefore we have to choose a value less than 167 millimeters so therefore I choose 150 so I can write take spacing as 150 millimeters next we have to find maximum spacing 
so you can find this equation in this clause so sn max equals 0.75 d times 1 plus cot alpha alpha is the angle of stirrups we usually provide a vertical stirrup therefore alpha equals 90 degrees so s1 max equals 0 0.75 times 500 500 is the effective depth which is this simple d times 1 plus cot 90 so when you simplify it you will have s1 max equals 375 millimeters so this is the maximum value our spacing value is uh, less than this maximum value therefore this value is okay so finally i can write provide the 12 bars at 150 millimeter intervals so that's how we do shear calculation for concrete beam according to zero code